how to be a presentation expert, or my high school students make better slides than you. Okay, that second one is just there just to try to egg you on to get you making great presentations, to, you know, add a little competition into it. So this is what we're going to look at today, how to make great presentations. We're going to look at the assertion evidence model of making slides, two presentation tips, and some other tools that you can use to present other than PowerPoint. So let's begin. You ever feel this way? Brace yourself. PowerPoint slides are coming. Well, sometimes you just get so much information or it's super hard to read or too much graph. It's too complicated or just too painful. Well, how did we get here? PowerPoint was developed as an overhead alternative, blah, 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 because once I put this much text on the page, you've stopped listening to me. People can only read or listen, not both. Speech and text are processed in the same part of the brain. So often it's a more effective presentation to have no words at all. Just speak clearly, directly, conversationally. Better, right? Text overload happens especially if there are words on the screen that don't match up with what the presenter is saying. I could be saying anything at all and you would need to choose one or the other. Most of the time with this much text, the audience tunes out of the slide right away. Or even worse, your slides are too interesting and people tune you out to read. Pause, pause, pause. And if the slide says exactly what the presenter is saying, it starts to make you wonder. Maybe one of them is unnecessary. So let's look at the solution, the assertion evidence model. You say it, then you show it. Easy, right? Here's an example. Speech and text are processed in the same part of the brain. So you show a brain. Here's what it would look like in a full slide. You can take the simple approach, no more than two lines up top, the main claim, your one idea that you want to say, and then visual evidence that supports the claim below, like this. Speech and text are processed in the same part of the brain. Now that you know a little bit about assertion evidence slide making, let's look at two quick design tips that will help you out. First of all, use large sans serif fonts. Sans serif means none of the little curly cues at the end of the fonts things that are blocky, that are easy to read. This is not only good for readability, it's good for accessibility and universal design. This is not good. If you have one point, there's also no need for bullets. Make it large, at least 36 points or more, and sometimes just don't. Second tip, always use large, high-res images, high-resolution images. Da Vinci would not approve of this painting. Remember that full width pictures are powerful. Whatever you do, make sure you watch for copyrights. Even if something doesn't say it has a copyright, it probably is. Use your head. If it is a high quality professional image, someone wants to get paid. Make sure you track where your images come from and be legal. Creative Commons is one way to create an open copyright and you'll see this all over the web. Google has specialized search tools that help you filter high quality images that you are free to use. Here are some other tools to rock your presentation. First one is Prezi. Set of slides, it makes use of one large canvas that allows you to use motion, zoom, and spatial relationships to present ideas. Sign up for the free educational membership first before paying. Another is Haiku Deck. Their motto, keep it simple, make it beautiful, have fun. Many great assertion evidence examples here at Haiku Deck. In fact, it's set up to encourage assertion evidence. It is a paid service. And last, Microsoft has come out with something called Sway. It's an easy to use digital storytelling app. It looks very modern. In fact, it even includes a way to search Creative Commons images from inside of the web-based app. It's part of Office 365, so most institutes should have this. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. You can see on the side here are some credits from the images that I used today. And here are my references for some further reading if you wish. Now go out there and make some great presentations.